So how fast uh, do you and Molly read since you're dealing with so many projects? Um, yeah, it's a pretty straightforward question. How fast do you read? I read incredibly slowly. Um, <laughs> not, not only am I like half blind and slightly dyslexic, I'm just a very, very slow, slow, ponderous reader. Um, you know, I'm like one of those guys who like mouths the words to himself as he reads. Um, Molly is the fastest reader I've ever met. So she's, she's the speedy one, but um, for the most part, I'm very, very slow. And, 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 uh, but the good news is, is that when I'm reading these days, I'm almost always editing. Right. So, um, you know, when 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 Molly reads for scouting, she's reading a book and then she's writing a report about it. She's neat. She needs to come to it as a reader. Right. How do I experience this book? Is this going to excite readers? Um, when I'm reading a book at, in my agenting capacity, I'm usually reading to edit. So I'm going very slowly making notes as I go, sometimes making notes on my Kindle fire, which is awful and takes forever. Um, so. Um, it's been a I'm nice very, plug for Kindle. I'm sure we'll work it for you. Not, Kindle yeah. <laughs> Maybe the other versions of the Kindle are great. That Kindle Fire cost me 99 bucks, and that's pretty much what it's worth. Um, so yeah, so I read very slowly, but usually because I'm I'm going very slowly and 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 editing. Um, there is a, a a book by Kate Atkinson um, on my shelf right now that I bought for pleasure to read in December. It's about 300 pages long, and I'm maybe about 100 pages into it right now. So that's, in terms of reading for pleasure, that's pretty much my my speed. I have learned to read something in the opposite genre of what I'm writing. So right now, I've been reading romance novels uh, at the end of the day or right before I start uh, my yep. day, uh, because those I can read very fast. If I'm reading anything that's similar, uh, I've gone back and I'm relisting the Harry Potter for I don't know how many, the however many of time on audio, because yeah. that's nice deliberate pace and I can say, ah, JK Rowling, why am I not you? Why will I never be you? You're so great. Um, but reading something that I don't write kind of removes that problem that at least I have when I come to reading something after a long day of working on my own book or uh, critiquing a friend's book to where that pressure's off. I can just read and experience it as fast as I possibly can. See, that's really interesting because I tend to read stuff that's very similar to whatever it is I'm trying to write at the moment to like get myself in the headspace for that. But one of the biggest criticisms I would level on my own writing is that my influences show through too much. You know what I mean? Like I feel like I can kind of see like, oh yeah, like there's a little bit of, uh, you know, whoever I was reading that month, I know that that's in there. Um, so oh, I, I have that same problem. I have not found a solution for it. So. <laughs> <laughs> I was gonna say, well, I like your idea of, of trying to read, you know, sort of purposefully stretching your brain away from what you're working on in the moment. That that sounds smart. I want to start trying that more. <laughs>